hey, could you hold that thought for one minute? I'm busy. I'm checking something out here on the internet. Uh, let's see. www.god. It's God. Really? <laughs> I hope you're going to enjoy this new format because basically it's a lot easier to do and it's a lot simpler to share. So we've already gotten done with Daily Light. So if you want to go back and find it, you can probably see it on the web. You know, you can check on, gee, I don't know where I'm at anyways nowadays. I think it's Mr. Net Business on YouTube. and You could probably go to, oh, I don't know, someplace on Facebook and find me. Michael James Stone. <laughs> but I think the video ministry is the name of the, the web page or the Facebook page now, just so that it was easier to find. Pretty simple. But let's put that back in. Let's get on to the next devotional, which I would think would be God calling. See, God's calling. At least he is to me. Now, what God may be doing with you, I don't know. You see, I have issues. And because I have issues, I got to deal with them. And the only way I know how to deal with them is with God. So because I have issues, I'm not going to tell you what they are. As a matter of fact, I'd rather you didn't know. But maybe God already knows. So since he's got a little bit of insight on the subject already, and he seems to know the material that he needs to use in order to tell me what to do about it. I figure, hey, maybe I ought to check in with the big man upstairs. I'm <laughs> no, kidding. Maybe I ought to listen to what he has to say about my issues as I'm dealing with him today. And maybe you have some issues too that you're not dealing with. Maybe you have issues that you need to deal with. Hmm, that could be. But as we are moving forward with this camera, which is high def, and maybe I need to get a mask, not show the real me. I think I'm about as real as it gets. <laughs> but I may come up with something to even show more. Who knows? But the point of being is that all born-again Christians have a joy of knowing that they're accepted as they are, the way they are, because God is already changing them and making them conformable into the image of Jesus. He's already doing the work inside us. We just need to participate with him in order to get the job done. So if you really want to be, you know, part of the A-team, whatever, Aleph, <laughs> the A-team, then read your Bible, talk to God, read a devotional. It's pretty simple. Every day you could even check and watch a video and see me make a fool of myself. Talk about my issues with God. It might just be your issues too. In God calling, extra work. Our Lord and our God help us through poverty to plenty. Though unrest or through unrest to rest through sorrow to joy, through weakness to power. I am your helper. At the end of your present path lie all these blessings. So trust and know that I am leading you. Step with a firm step of confidence in me into each unknown day. Take every duty and every interruption as one of my appointments. You are my servant. Serve me as simply, cheerfully, and readily as you expect others to serve you. Wife! <laughs> Do you blame the servant who avoids extra work? Who complains about being called from one task to do one less liked? Do you feel you are ill-served by such a one? Then what of me? Is not that how you so often serve me? Think of this. Lay it to your heart and view your day's work in this light. The thing I'd like to know from every Calvary Chapel pastor that's out there, when's the last time you cleaned a toilet? Because if you haven't done one lately, you're really not honoring Romaine. <laughs> when's the last time you went out in the parking lot and picked up cigarette butts? 
You see, sometimes just the symbolism of it will bring joy to the Lord. And what he might do is bless you in remembering some of the things that you were trained to do, to be a servant of all, and to not be so consumed by your issues that you forget the greater issue is to bless others. Not just with what you're doing on the internet. Oh, I'm so important. I'm on the internet. I don't have time for the average individual person. I can't clean house because I'm too busy playing on the internet. But there also might be the realization that God can use the internet and your everyday observations of the things that you're doing to cause in the spiritual world, as well as in the physical, some things to be accomplished for you, in you, and by you as he works to accomplish his purposes. So don't get too carried away about all you think is the most important thing with your issues and you gotta like look down in the cup and say, hey, you know what? What's my future going to be like? But Take today and just accept it as it is. If you're bummed out, be bummed. I am. I'm still playing with a camera I don't like. Hard to tell, isn't it? But even when I'm bummed, I mean, when I think about something silly, you know, like salvation, it's like, <laughs> what could I do about it? <laughs> Jesus did it all. I can't add to it. Man, as soon as I try, you know, it's all screwed up. So find yourself in a good spot with the Lord by taking a few moments and reading your devotional or listening to this one and being concerned about others too. To not just do your thing, but to minister to others. Maybe in a prayer. Maybe on the internet. Maybe by just simply cleaning house.